is that it is a great bike it has great bike components it has a 750 watt uh, motor uh, which is really powerful and it's got a great battery life from 20 to 40 miles per charge depending on your pedal assist um, the price point is 1500 bucks which is the price point for all the range of bikes that they make uh, at rad power bikes and overall I'd say this is this is a rad bike and I'd recommend buying it. It does have its a few pitfalls, uh, in my personal opinion, about issues and I'll talk about those at the end. Alright, here are some of the main features. Key, boom. This is off position, this is on position. Turn it on with the mode button. Boom, main display battery life amount of miles I've gone 478 miles my speed in miles per hour the pedal assist level which I'll talk about in a moment and the battery power output gears plus or minus throttle brakes on both sides the bell here we got LED lights in the front here Powerful LEDs, fenders, shocks, disc brakes on both front and back. Obviously got the big four inch off-road wheels, uh, fender on the back as well. Quick release for the seat. I bought the, the back rack and I've placed my own basket. Seat pouch is a personal edition of mine. Basket is a personal edition of mine see that I've just bolted it into the frame there or into the uh, back rack very useful for putting five gal water jugs on the trip to the supermarket uh, also very useful for putting my backpack when I'm riding so that my back doesn't get sweaty when I do long rides if I spend my entire ride in pedal assist 3 while pedaling a good amount still putting in some effort to actually ride the bike I can get 35 up to 35 miles per charge on this bike if i do it in pedal assist 5 which is the maximum power output i you reach you know 25 miles per hour on flats uh i will do about 20 miles up to it you should, could be less too uh, also if you just throttle it the whole time it's using the max power as well and you can get it's, it's a little below 20 miles per charge as of now if you use eco mode in pedal assist 2, um, I mean, you can get over 40 miles per charge. And I kind of go back and forth between 3 and 5 and 2, depending on where I am and how quickly I need to get around. So I'm averaging 35 to 45 miles per charge. When I'm pedaling on pedal assist 0, I'm getting no help from the motor. When I'm on 1, I'm getting maybe 50 watts of help which is nothing basically on pedal assist 2 they call it eco mode about 150 watts of help makes a nice ride on on the flat ground with you know relatively no effort i ride in pedal assist 3 most of the time um in gears 5 or 6 at pedal assist 3 i'm reaching 20 miles per hour pretty easily on flat and 4 and 5 are much higher electric motor output which help a lot and you go really fast you can really feel the boost from this bike in pedal assist 5 it outputs 750 watts max power and if i'm in pedal assist 5 i'm usually on a hill and that helps me maintain uh whatever gear i'm in it doesn't really matter it helps me maintain 16 to 18 miles per hour up pretty steep hills so on flat ground pedal assist 3 i'm maintaining about 20 miles per hour uh, on average and I can maintain that on hills as long as I go up to pedal assist 5. Alright so there are a couple issues with this bike that I found personally um, when it 
was shipped to me, the disc brake was slightly bent and was rubbing on the calipers that squeeze it. But Rad Bikes sent me a replacement very quickly. They have great customer service. Uh, another thing is that the, on the quick release part of the front wheel, it squeaks when I'm riding. And I've noticed this lately. I'm at maybe 500 miles into this bike. It squeaks. Um, I think I can put a little grease on it and it'll fix that, but it's kind of annoying. Um, another aspect that I don't really like on this specific model is that the seat post is at pretty much the maximum height and for me at 6'2", when I sit on it, um, my feet are not even fully, or my legs aren't fully extended. I would like to, you know, to be able to extend a little further. So for tall people, this model is maybe not the best. Um, this is the folding model, the Rad Mini 4. It folds at the uh, stem and in the middle of the frame here to be compact. It's not really that useful for me. I would honestly probably, in hindsight now, gotten a different model from Rad Power Bikes. Um, I have this basket and when you fold it, it's still the height of the basket kind of limits where I can put it. So I have to take the whole basket off if I want to really have it be compact. My overall impressions of this bike is that it is a great bike. Really nice to have that 750 watts of power. Super powerful, feels really nice. Um, there are a few things that are wrong with it, like I've said uh, earlier in the video, but I'd say this is about 90% rad, 10% bad. And I would recommend buying.